deep dive with Scott, unless it's Tim. One or the two will be this Friday. All right, we're just going to move right along to Python on hardware. Yes. So the newsletter. Okay, there's actually two things. I, I lied or said I don't want to talk about one thing, but then. Yeah, you had a couple of things that we, um, we were going to talk about. So okay. the newsletter, um, do check it out. It for daily. Subscribe. Um, you know, new hardware. More certified pieces. For sure. We're, oh, sorry. We released that point, oh, like last week, but our, you know, immediately people start using it. We have bug fixes and stuff. So we're up to 902 and working on 91 beta, which has um, even more bug fixes um, and some cool stuff like I2S now. Used to be in our RP2040, you had to pick which pins in a certain order, but that can be like almost any pin combo, which is kind of nice. Um, the other thing that I thought would be cool to show. Talk about the um, Pimerani stuff? Yeah. Well, first off, the um, Pi Cascades, which is like this weekend. Okay. Yeah, so Scott, be there. Scott's going to talk. Um, and he's going to post slides. I think the video is going to be live too. As you can talk about uh, Wi Fi and BLE wor workflow for CircuitPython, which is a really nice way of working on projects. A lot of boards that support CircuitPython also have Wi Fi or BLE support, uh, like the Clue, NRF 52840, ESP32 series chips. And um, the web workflow is actually very powerful and very fast. And you can like transfer files and you can use the REPL and you can save and restart your code. So it's kind of like, um, over the air programming, but without all of the like really complexity parts of over the air, you get to like dynamically change your code. Um, so check it out if you're in Seattle, but also it'll be online. So you don't have to visit cool. Seattle if you're not in Seattle. Okay. And then, um, you know, we cover all sorts of hardware from our partners, from our friends, from folks that we just like, Hey, here's something cool that, um, you might want to check out. So this week you wanted to talk about the, I thought this was kind of neat. So this, phone. yeah. So on phone, um, so I'm seeing where people do projects with like Laura as like a backend wireless communication protocol. So, um, this is a, uh, board with, uh, like a 2.8 or 3.5 inch color TFT, um battery you can click on this it has an esp32 i think s3 in it um and it was designed by primarily but for a university and is used as like a uh it's the university of sheffield which is where uh, primarily is in sheffield so um i thought that was kind of cool uh you know a lot of these familiar components i like this kind of an all-in-one um design and what's neat is that it runs circuit python and we have support for the sp32 s3 we have support for the battery monitor the tft display and the lower module so it's like getting it working in circuit python was really easy i bet also it's like a feather adapter yeah. um i don't know i thought it was cool I, I always like it when other people do hardware that is circuit python compatible and um i'm sure it works really well because you know yeah yeah as you can see plus plus or circuit python or circuit python some things are not in that list. I'm not going to say what they are, but I'm just saying CircuitPython supported. So uh, check it out. And uh, cool. yeah, the S3 is, is with CircuitPython is great, especially with the extra PS RAM. So uh, a lot of people were asking me like, oh, is there like, an, are you going to make an S3 LoRa board? And I'm like, this will probably just stock this. This kind of does everything you want. All right. Well, then this is our hardware pick of the week for yeah. Python on hardware. Yeah. Okay. So that's our highlight for the week. Get that delivered to your inbox every single week. Don't miss it. Edward Daly.